Okay. Well. Quiet that down a little bit. So, uh, I picked these up off of Craigslist, and it's a matched set that I thought were good candidates for um, electric bicycles or a quad, is what my original thought was. Which, uh, I could make a quad out of it would be interesting and uh, two people could ride it I've been looking at it and I may still do that I, the, the court's still out on that one anyway uh, as far as uh, electric bike candidates they've got all this business going on here which you need you know you need suspension if you're going to be going 40 miles an hour on a bicycle you've got to have suspension so these are in that regard these are good candidates and it's got disc brakes on the front and uh, rim brakes on the back, which I prefer in a way. I I don't know that the you know, the rim brakes are a lot more powerful. They're out on the outer, they're way out on the circumference of the wheel, so they've got a lot more power there. And a lot anyway. Uh, that's that's my thoughts on that. I'm not too unhappy about not having disc brakes on the rear. It's it's okay. Um, now the battery, though, fitting the battery into this gizmo is a trick. And uh, I'm looking into that and figuring that out, but the conversion kit to put a mid-drive on these, and uh, I'm talking substantial, it should be, you know, capable of 30, 40 miles an hour, like a little motorcycle, really. Um, anyway, I'm getting ready to pull the solo tricycle in, and I had these in here kind of looking it around and, and thinking about things, and uh, I still think it, the quad idea is really cool with a nice bench seat. You know, and a cover over it. They've 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 got them already. I I wasn't the first one to think of them. I guess I I did think of them though on my own, but they already got them. Anyway, the, mine may be a little better than theirs. Who knows the, what I got designed for the cage to put it together. Anyway, I'm gonna bring the solo in, and we'll do the maintenance video breakdown video of 1,100 miles and where we're at on the solo. to do our 1,100-mile that's uh, 1098 which 1,100 miles you know another trip to grandma's or so anyway uh, and then uh, we're going to break it down now you can see my tires have actually worn down pretty good uh, they're getting shiny. I really love these tires though. They're uh, they're nice, low friction, and uh, they they get enough traction for me. Anyway, uh, the, the idea of riding on something that kind of was knobby. You know, let me turn this thing out here. And after reviewing all the data, I always let the 
the, the computer run. I'm absorbing that stuff. It's crazy anyway. Uh, so I'll be checking the, the bearings and the differential. Oh, back there, it looks like it's doing okay, but we're going to check it out. I know that we got just a little bit of play. Well, maybe not right now. <laughs> the other day we did. Uh, felt like these bearings here needed to be tightened up. But uh, anyway, that's why we're in here to check it out. Give it a lube job. And uh, then break it down. Because we still got to go another 2,000 miles. We're, almost, we're not even halfway there yet. Uh, 3,000 is our, you know, when we get our money back out of the thing. Is what I figure savings of gas and everything and uh so what the heck uh we're gonna take it down there and check it out uh i'm gonna take a break here and kind of figure out where to start okay solo I 
guess I'll wait for my next flat tire and I'll figure I'll try to get them nuts out of there and put them back on the spokes. What I'm thinking. No sense in You know what I mean? I don't know. But, uh, it's so easy to, to make things worse, you know what I mean?
Too bad so far. This friend would watch it. He all the links that Dr. Ron talks about after the show and after the show will make sure it's in the description. And for all of your public telegram, we'll put a hard price in there for our here I guess. I think we'll 
You know that old rule is uh, if it works, don't fix it. So we'll see if it works. And then we'll go fix it if it works. <laughs> Alrighty then, I'm getting into all that business back there now, that's what everybody wants to see is that differential, chain differential came out of a little mower tractor, oh it sure has worked out good, oh, you can see all that there. It looks pretty good. I don't see any problems. The chain looks tensioned okay. I'm probably just going to give it a squirt. Now the brakes there, them brakes, uh, I put the best set I had on there, which were just basically brand new. I'm going to give them a look here, and uh, they're still work they're functioning okay. But I am uh, probably about time to tighten them up the cables just a bit. Uh, this is what we ended up doing on the ends of the axles, and it's been holding up just fine. Oh, look at there, though. We've got a loose bolt there. The nut is lost off of that part there now. That's going to be a hard nut to replace. It's a little metric uh, deal there. Okay. Well, so there's something there. I'm glad we found it. We'll put that back on. It'll tighten things up a little bit when we get that tightened back down. Oh, I hadn't even there'd been nothing I could notice because it's been running very smooth and nice. We'll look at the other side there, and you can see it's uh, it's doing just fine on the port side there, starboard side. We'll tighten it up. We'll find a nut. I may have to go to Lowe's, I don't know. That's going to be a little bitty 10 millimeter or whatever it is. 6 millimeter. No, it's even, uh, anyway, whatever it is. Okay. Uh, I had to slap the tail light, I mean the headlight, a couple times to get it to work the other day. Let's see if it works today. Turn on the power. And turn on the light. Yeah, see it didn't turn on. There we go. That's uh, the shits have to tap everything to make it work. But, uh, oh well. Sometimes you gotta whack stuff to get it to go, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Uh. I am going to loop the chain. I'm going to try and find that nut. Mm. And then, uh. Oh, that's going to be pretty much it, unless I think of anything else. I think we're ready to go. Put some miles back on her again. I'm feeling pretty good about it. 3,000 miles, here we come. We'll get there. All right, thank you all for watching. Maybe there'll be a soundtrack in here, we'll see. <laughs> don't, don't go running off now. Okay, well, we, uh, we caught a problem there. That bolt there, if you can see it there. Had, uh, the nut had come off and it started the bolt had started backing out if it would have got out any further it could have got in under the spokes so thank god we did this and uh, to prevent it happening to the other side the starboard side there or the port side i mean we went ahead and put another nut on it now then we'll check out underneath the wells and everything if you can see welds there's the differential in action you can see
and that neat. <laughs> it's working smooth as silk. You can't even hear it. All the bearings are working great. Now we're going to give it a lube job here. We check the wells and they all look okay. Everything looks good. There's no problems. Battery's still firm. That's some what you call a hose clamp construction. I really like hose clamps. If you didn't notice, I think they're a fantastic uh, multi-purpose fastener. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. See the tires there. We're gonna let them go a while longer. We'll see where we're at at uh, 1,500 miles. And um. Like I said, I'm going to lube it up. We're ready to go. Everything's smooth. It's going to be even better now. All right. Okay. Well, we'll do our lube job then. Okay. Ugh. That's a gel lube. Tried out some new stuff there. Okay. 
So, what's next here? Uh, better check the air pressure. Folks, and I suppose I'll have a flat soon enough. That'll be the time to see if I can locate them in there and get them back on. Hold them there, good. Clean the windshield up too, and I shined up the solar cells, and so it is just beautiful. Well, I can't wait to take it out. The weather's pretty cold and chilly and windy right now. Oh. soon enough. And then we'll be taking it out and getting our 400 miles so we can get halfway there. Okay. Maybe I'll look through the windshield there and see what you think. We're going to call it all good here. See how pretty that is? All cleaned up. Panels. That top panel was filthy. Those top panels. So it's all going to be working super duper good. All right. <laughs>